What is going on, all you amazing viewers to be named later? How we doing today? Seriously, you doing okay? Everything all right with you? Totally cool. Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time it is when you are watching this video. Woohoo! All right, today we're going back down that banquet rabbit hole with their mega meats, and they're calling this one their original crispy chicken with home-style mashed taters. First of all, you already know we're not going to stir them taters if they tell us to. Hashtag unstirred taters, make it trend, say it loud, say it proud, unstirred taters. All right, uh, what do we got here, what do we got here? 48 grams, well, excuse me, 31 grams of protein, which is 48% of your recommended daily allowance. This thing was around, I believe, the 350 to five buck range in my big box store. I swear, I promise I'm gonna remember to save those receipts so I can give them to you accurately. For those of you who like to see it, there is the nutritional facts right there on the back of the box. All right, what do we got here? Huh? Remove film over chicken. Microwave on high for four minutes. Stir them taters. We're gonna skip that step. We're gonna consider that optional. <laughs> Microwave an additional three to four minutes. Check the food is, you know, cooked all the way through. We're skipping them taters. We're skipping that stirring part. I don't know. I just want to be a rebel this morning, you know? It's one of those days. Let's just do something dumb, right? Unstir taters! As we usually like to do. Damn. <laughs> That's what it looks like on the inside of the package. Bunch of taters. So, okay. You know, all we got to do is get this thing fired up, get it cooled down, and get it in the belly, right? We'll be right back when it's ready to go. Okay, we are back. It's fired up, it's cooled down, it's ready to go. Now I'm going to tick some of you off. I'm not going to be picking it up with my fingers because it might be a little awkward for the camera. So we got to use a fork today. But that's how it looks all fired up, ready to go. I'll be honest, when I removed the film like I was supposed to, I didn't realize a big strip of the breading was gone off that one piece of chicken. But still, you know what we got to do. Let's get into it. Let's have some fun. No, oh, maybe some gravy over the taters. Just saying. Taters. Ooh, still a little warm. That's okay. Taters. That was almost tragic. <laughs> oh well, just a little bit of chicken. I know, I know how you're supposed to do it, but still. <clears throat> More chicken. Make it better, right? Okay. All right, I got. I got it. Oh, I just want to check one thing. Okay. After going through and grabbing bites, that's how much is left. Um, I've never really done microwave fried chicken before. Okay, <sighs> my first thought when I was chewing it, it would have been better if I'd done it in the oven. It does have a conventional oven way to do this meal, so you will be seeing this one in the future in a follow-up because I'm wondering if that's going to take it to another level. I'm going to give it one out of two thumbs up. It's okay. It's not anything that's going to make me go, whoo, gimme. That may change when I go back for the oven. 
I like the dark meat for the chicken. I, I have no problem with dark or white meat. Don't care, no whatever. The unstirred taters were freaking phenomenal. I don't know, maybe next time I might add something to it, like butter, maybe some gravy, maybe something. It's just something to bring that up another level. Would I recommend this? Sure, it's not bad. It's not over the top great, but it's not bad. It will put calories in you. There's a bunch in there. Do I think that's going to fill me up? Probably. I, I've got a good bet because the chicken is really flavorful in certain areas, and those taters are good. So I bet I'm going to go in and like get it right down to the bone, <laughs> but still. Oh, God. So I'm just going to have fun with that. Seriously, are you dying on me over there? Yeah. Great. <laughs> ah. But okay. We are at the best point of the video for me, seriously. We really, really, truly are. I want to know your questions, comments, love, hatred, anger. All that fun stuff right down below. Have you tried this one before? If you have, what did you think of it? You know, did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you add anything to it to bring it up another level? You never know. You could be featured in a future video with your recommendation as the title going, this was recommended by ba ba one of those, you know? But now, if it made you laugh, made you cringe, made you cry, made you do any of that while filming this video, and because it's me, I'm pretty freaking sure that it did. I just have that talent, right? Hit that big old thumbs up. It's only going to show love and support to the channel, which is seriously appreciated. Going to give you good karma. You put out good, you get good back in return, right? And the most important part is it's going to slap the almighty algorithm right in the mouth and go, wake up. We like what this guy's doing over here. But there we go, guys. Our really quick, weird review of Banquets Mega Meats Original Fried Chicken and Homestyle Mashed Taters. I want to thank you guys for watching this one. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're having a safe day today. And I look forward to seeing all of you in our very next video.